Orient the operable panel so the glazing bead will face the exterior once it's installed. Lift the operable panel at an angle into the head and swing the bottom of the panel onto the stainless steel panel track. You can use a six inch drywall blade to keep the panel rollers from interfering with placing the panel into position. For an OXXO door, install the opposite operable panel using this same method. Adjust the rollers using a number two by six inch or longer Phillips head screwdriver. The roller adjustment screw is accessed through the hole at the bottom of the interlock and lock styles of the operable panel. Adjust the rollers so that the panel has equal penetration into the head and sill. Gently slide the panels into position and check alignment of the doors. Check for equal penetration into the head pocket and equal distance between the lock styles, making adjustments as needed. For an OXO door, check for equal penetration into the head pocket and ensure vertical alignment along the interlock. Install two anti-lifts into the inside pocket of the frame head above each operable panel. Position the anti-lifts so that when the panel is in its closed position, there will be an anti-lift above the lock style and another approximately eight inches from the interlocks. You should not be able to see the anti-lifts when the panels are closed and the panels should not contact the anti-lifts during operation. Install the panel stops over the stainless steel cap on both ends of the panel track. The panel stops should rest against the jam pocket covers.